Because you can, you can like pass out if you don't eat. I know. I know. Like out of nowhere. Just don't pass out right now, fam. <laughs> Imagine we're like mid convo and just Gavin just like drops <laughs> dead. What the fuck? No, nah, that would go viral. Because my, you know what? My aunt, she told me, you remember how I had that scare? Mm-hmm. I had that scare. I thought I was having a heart attack. Oh, when you actually passed out though? I didn't pass out, but like I got sent to the, I, I called the ambulance yeah, yeah. and shit. Yeah. So my aunt, she was telling me she had a similar situation. Okay. But she was on the go train, right? Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm having a heart attack. I'm having a heart attack, right? Yeah. But what happened was she just didn't eat all day. They had to like stop the go train. You know, the red or the, the yellow oh, the bar, yellow, the emergency shit. It. Yeah. Yeah. She had to press that. Oh my God. That's fucked. I've never been in an instance where I've seen someone press that though. Which yeah. Is fucked. You ever see any like um anybody collapse though? Collapse? That shit is scary, bro. Because I was on the go train recently. I yeah. think last month. Uh-huh. Somebody collapsed. Like yeah. they just dropped on the floor and it was a big like, what? Like, what the fuck? So so I ran over right and then like I helped him up and then the woman beside him was like, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" Yeah. He just fell asleep, bro. What the? He fuck? He just fell asleep, but he hit his head like super hard. Yeah. And that's I'm, that's what's dangerous. I mean, yeah. You see all the the homeless guys at the back sleeping. And I I thought because fam, they're all laid out mm-hmm. one by one. Like I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's like no one's gonna help them. Oh, like, you mean like out in the yeah, in the cold? In, and yeah. Shit? In, no, just out on the train. All on the train. Yeah, and I'm like super worried about them. Like, fuck, bro. I know, but there's there's not much you can do there, right? Yeah. Well, if you do see someone collapse, like go ahead and help. You know I what know, I mean? I go ahead and help. One one thing that um actually surprises me, whenever I'm on the train, right? Or yeah. or the or the subway, mm-hmm. I'll I'll sleep, but at my at my direct stop, yeah. when I need to get off, I'll wake up without no alarm. Oh, and it's I, like and, a body clock yeah, yeah, type and, of thing. And, and I was like, I searched it up. I was like, where does this come from? And it's literally just REM. Like you get um, adjusted to like your schedule. Mm. That's why. That's why. Do you ever wonder why you wake up when you're go- on a car ride just before your house? Yo, I know why. I know why. Why? 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 It's, it's because you get so used to the geographical like turns yeah, and yeah. shit. It's the turns. It's the turns. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's always that one turn when you're on the way yep, home. Yep. <laughs> yeah, your mom or dad takes the turn and yep. then you're like, oh, we're almost yeah, here. We're almost here. No, but I also, there's another theory that so you're going on the highway for half the drive, right? Mm-hmm. So your body wakes up when the change of pace oh. slows down. So you're like, wait a minute. Where am I? So you wake up. Yeah. Right. There's also, mm-hmm. I don't know if you heard about this, but there's actual like frequencies geographically. Like through. Okay. So you ever had a feeling where I need to be close to water or I need to be close to like a certain area? You ever had that feeling? Like I want to go somewhere. Like oh. I, I really have an urge to be somewhere, yeah, right? To the beach and shit? Yeah. 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 That type of shit. Mm-hmm. So apparently this mm-hmm. goes in with astrology yeah depending on your sign and like all of those different <laughs> things with astrology uh-huh. you can actually have a frequency that is more inclined to to certain areas in the world okay. so you know how there's like longitude and latitude yeah yeah there's certain points in the earth mm-hmm. and you can search it up like your star sign or some shit it will line up mm-hmm. exactly where you're supposed to be really yeah so wherever you were born wherever um your your stars were when you were born and yeah, shit yeah, yeah. it will it will attract you to uh-huh. certain areas in the world so okay. that's why let's say you moved areas let's say you go to la uh-huh. and you just feel like this is home Word. it's because you're on that frequency of where you're supposed to be what the fuck yeah and that's all astrology it's all astrology it's you, all astrology you know what i noticed too recently mm-hmm. like re- really recently i've seen 444 everywhere oh i've seen that i've seen that today i see that today yeah yeah because the last time we came to record yeah I, I came at this at the time 444 what does it mean it means i think so i think that 444 means seek and find so your seek angels your angels are leading you somewhere you just yeah. gotta find it so it's a new opportunity oh okay you know? that's interesting i know that's interesting why are we both getting it though but i always get the 333 and it's weird that you get the 444 i never get the 333 you never get the 333 it's only 444 and 111 what mm. does 333 mean it has something has a lot to do three uh-huh. itself has a lot to do with like religion oh shit because uh the holy trinity yeah right 33 i think there's 33 like um what do you call it? It's like pillars in in the in Rome, yeah. the Vatican, in the okay. Vatican. Okay. And the Freemason number Holy shit. is 33. 33 is like the highest level in Freemasonry yeah, you can yeah, achieve. Yeah. Oh my god. Yo, do you ever hear the the theory about uh-huh. like the America land of the free? You ever heard of that? American land of the free. Now what's So that? there's a theory that America uh-huh. land of the free 
doesn't actually mean free oh, people. I just got it. it means the Freemasons. I, just got it. I literally just got it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, free? What the fuck? That's fucked, right? No, nah, that's fucked. Also, there's this building. Mm -hmm. I forgot exactly who it is. I think I think it's in New York. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty much a very it's where the Freemasons actually started. Okay. And it's kind of like their temple, I guess. Yeah. It's faced directly across from a Catholic church. Yeah. And in front of there, there's a statue. Mm -hmm. There's a statue of a guy pointing. Is it a guy pointing or is it a bull? Something like that, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, okay. But it's it's directly pointed at the church, like, fuck you. It's pretty much like a middle finger towards like Holy smokes. That, that other church. And that was put in pur purposely. Yeah. Oh my God. But there's so many fucking statues like, like, like Lucifer in um Oh yeah in the in um Colorado. Den no, Den Denver, Denver Airport. Airport. Denver Airport. Yeah, that was our bit one of our big theories. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay, so back to I just want to go back to the um because you're talking about astrology and being there at the right time. Mm -hmm. So there's something about personality. So what about it? So if you're um so there's a theory that if your ring finger is longer than your index finger, it, it proves that you're actually charming and you're really good at flirting. Wait, what? Right? Yeah. And in your life, you will make a lot of money, but you are more likely to cheat on your boyfriend. Wait, wait. So, so this thing, if this finger. So your ring finger yeah. is longer than your index finger. That means you're a good person. Okay. Okay. So yeah. If it's the opposite. If it's the now, opposite. Yeah, so if it's the opposite now. So the index finger is, is shorter than the ring finger. Yeah. That means you're going to be a good leader and a, like a good leader in life yeah. and like a really good captain. Mm. So one of the main, one of the main people that have this is yeah. Tom Brady. Oh, Tom Brady. Do you have it, it though? Cause you're like, you're naturally elite. Wait, is it? Oh. No, no. Is it, is it like this one? No, no, so what has to be longer? So, oh, you do. Wait. No, we have the same thing. You okay, have the same yeah, thing. Yeah. So you're not a natural born. Yeah, leader. I'm not. <laughs> I'm natural born leader in other ways. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and and but if they're the same height, yeah, then that means you're in life. You're gonna find a person to marry really easy. Mm. It's like re weird personality <laughs> traits that you can find. I remember someone told you this shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened? It's like it's like the space from your middle finger to your oh, thumb. Oh, is your dick? Is it Yo, <laughs> bro. Is that true? It I might be true. So. It might be true. What from from your middle finger to from your thumb? From your middle finger to your thumb? It might be true, <laughs> bro. <laughs> shit, nah, I gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> That's long as fuck, fam. <laughs> and they're looking mad like Kawhi, bro. <laughs> oh my like, god, no homo Kawhi. No homo Kawhi, bro. Scotty Barnes. <laughs> Scotty Barnes. Lily. Scotty Barnes' wingspan is almost my my arm's length. Yo, and then you see though that guy on TikTok. What? His his fingers are like, they're like all the way. No, no, it wasn't even his finger. I think it was just his thumb. <laughs> his thumb is like the size of 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 a middle finger, taller than a middle finger, bro. That has just his thumb. His other fingers are regular size, uh -huh. but his thumb is super large. Hold on, I'm okay, gonna show man, you. Show me that. <laughs> He's crazy. No, that's funny. And then all the comments are obviously going crazy yeah, too. Like, know, the like, things are like, oh. Big ass. <laughs> big thumb. <laughs> Guy on TikTok. TikTok. Look at this, look at this. Let me see, let me see. Oh, this what the fuck? <laughs> that's this real? Looks, it looks like a foot from like the, the side angle. No, is that real though? This is real, bro. This is, he has videos and shit. <laughs> he, he went viral on TikTok. That's how long his thumb is. Yeah. The hell? But his other fingers are regular size. Yeah. <laughs> this guy this guy has a fucking yo, oh that's a baseball bat. No, it's like what a mini the baseball fuck, bat. No, I, fuck, we should have had a theory where um because the main one is uh your foot size is relative to your dick size. No, it's not. It's not. I, I swear that's like the, a theory. Cause fam, whenever a girl asks you, like, yo, what's what's your That that's what they think. That's what yeah, they think. Yeah, it's, not it's, it's not true. That's not bro. true. That that's so wrong. Yeah. That's so wrong. <laughs> but I think you can you can tell just by like looking at someone. I don't know. It's just in my head, like what? You can you can tell how tall somebody is or how big they are and kind of have like an imagination, I guess. Of their dick. Okay, I'm just Fuck, like, no yeah, homo, no homo. Hey, hey yo! Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you get what I mean. Yeah, you get what I mean. Like, if you look at someone, they look bigger, so obviously bigger. Yeah, I mean, shit. Have you ever ran into like a guy that you, oh, uh, what do you call this? Like, uh, never judge a book by its cover type person, and then like surprisingly, no, no, what not, are you talking about? No, no, not like <laughs> obviously not dick size, fam. But like, like personality wise, personality like, you, wise, like, you thought this person was gonna be way different from. Hmm. The, you know what yeah no no i haven't really i never never just because like i never judged anybody mm. i i just i just got to know them first and then had my own opinion that's i never so like no nah, but that's i never so like cap. okay i at least never put like a big impression on somebody okay yeah yeah you know I me mean? but but there, like there's a whole science behind it like five seconds when you stare at a person you already make assumptions in your head 
Like I don't know. If, like I don't know if I, I do that. Yeah, like if I didn't know you, to me, you're a Hawaii. You're like surfer. You're surfer dude. Like co-op. Uh, what was it called? That? Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Kaubanga. Kaubanga. Type person. I kind of am. Yeah. I kind of am. Exactly. But I don't. I don't really. I don't know. Do you actually like look at somebody and then have an impression right away? Yeah. I don't know if I do that. There was one time where I got beat up by like this really scrawny kid. Cause yeah. I took him so, uh, I, I didn't take him serious at all in sparring. Mm. Right. So there was this guy so small, right? Like he was like four foot 11. Yeah. So I'm like, bro, I'm not even going to take this guy serious. He comes in, he's super fast. <laughs> bop, 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 hitting me with all these kicks. And my master's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> no, that's the worst. That's the worst. If you underestimate yeah. someone that's different. Yeah. I had this, I had a similar one. Fuck, okay. I got beat up one day, bro. Yeah. I got beat up one day too. But it was, it was actually like, um, it was in a competition. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like in front of everybody. That it was in sucks. a competition, bro. That sucks, brother. Yo, you know what it is though? When you go into your first fight, I know you can't, you can't, I guess relate too much because you won all your all yeah, your fights. Yeah. But when I went to my first fight, uh -huh. there's this like preconception of what a fight's gonna be, and, and it's nothing like what it actually is. Oh, for sure. You think you're um gonna do backflips like Karate Kid? And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. What actually happens is like you're getting fucking murked. <laughs> yeah, and yo, I, I I take it back to like because I watched John Wick, right? Okay. I I went back and I watched all of them like at, in a marathon. <laughs> Already, his standards are way too high. <laughs> Yo, so listen, listen. Uh -huh. So I watch the movies, right? I'm like, mm -hmm. damn, if he's doing all this, there's yeah. no way it can be that hard. But then I'm thinking to myself, mm -hmm. no way. Yeah. There's no way one man <laughs> with guns can take out like 200 people in a room. There's no way, right? Yeah. And then it had me thinking, damn, what if I go to Airsoft and I, I can be like that? I can be oh, like fucking yeah, John yeah, Wick. Yeah. Yeah. I, I blame it. I blame it on the super talented people. I'm making people think like, they can do whatever they that want. That make it look way too easy. Make it look too easy. Oh my God. There's so many circumstances of it. Um, Keep going while I try to- Yeah, like Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia hitting the Cobra bag. Oh my Bro, God. Bro, because I just got one and I'm mm. training with it. Dog, it's hard, but yeah. Ryan Garcia makes it so easy. He makes it look so easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, what one that I thought about? You know the course American Ninja Warrior? Yeah, yeah, my yeah. My toxic trait is watching that and believing I can do that so easy. Right? <laughs> yeah. But I went to one of those, you know the ones where you have a-, a a steel bar. The steel. And, and, and oh, and that's it. That's hard. Up. Fam, I thought I was going to be so nice at it. Yeah. I, couldn't, I, I swear I couldn't get one. Yeah, you know, that's hard. Like the amount of upper body that you actually need mm -hmm. is crazy. But when you're watching it on TV, it's like, that's life. Fam. Yeah, yeah. That, they, they, make, they make it look like, oh, <laughs> this, is, this is bullshit. This yeah, is right. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, that shit yeah. is hard, bro. That shit, you can fall on your ass too. I was watching, Um, there's a documentary. I think it's called Free Solo. This okay. guy climbed the whole mountainside oh. with no equipment. Oh, oh, never mind. He, he climbed it with no equipment, just yeah. fucking boulder. What? Just straight boulder, and it was like, bro, it was so tall, fam. Word. It was, it was. I want to say like 12, 20, 20 stories. Yeah, I could never. Crazy. I could never. No go. equipment. So if this guy falls, he dies. Yeah. What do you think? Okay, what do you think takes a man to do something like that? Mm. To go ahead and just like, fuck it, let's try it. Let's try it. It takes a certain it, did, person. Okay, did he do it for money or no? He just no. Did it. He did it for fun. That's just his thing. <laughs> That's his hobby. That's his passion, I guess. Open. Ex Maybe he's just an adventurous type of person. Maybe. Or or like the adrenaline seeker, you know? Adrenaline junkies? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's real. That's a real thing. Okay, hold on. I got a question for you. Yeah. Are you a slow or fast eater? Mm, I think I think I'm a fast eater. You're a fast yeah, eater? Yeah, I'm a fast okay, eater. Okay, so there's there's actually a study yeah. where um your personality traits can be related to your eating like um uh, your eating habits? Eating habits. Really? Yeah, so there was like um I think there was a an actual S expert on yeah. food behavior who studied it. Oh, so shit. the slow uh, eaters, the ones where like, oh, you're done eating, but there's always that one guy with like food left. Mm. So that guy is he's in he likes to be in control mm. and likes to seize the moment, like appreciate life. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. like because you're like that chilling. makes sense. That makes yeah? sense. But the fast ones, the fast ones is like you eat at the pace you like to live life. Oh, so, so I'm a fast. Yeah, I'm, I eat fast too. I'm super fast eater. Look how I talk. Look yeah. how I live life. It's all fast, fast. I want shit immediately done. Mm -hmm. Right. And you're, you're more, um, you're more confident, ambitious and mm. your goal, your goal seeking. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense because yeah. you don't want to waste time eating. Yeah. Right. You don't want to waste time because in my opinion, in my opinion, it yeah. depends on what food it is. If it's like a dessert and shit, oh. I'm eating that shit slow. But if it's something like food and i just gotta get in my system yeah. fuck it i don't want to be sitting there so long for sure there's other shit to do real shit <laughs> right and i i think i was 
the most uncomfortable I've been in my life, fam. Yeah. Was, I, I didn't know I ate that fast, but when I was in like those um fam jams, yeah. I went for a burger, right? Mm-hmm. He cooked me a burger, five minutes. I went for another one. And oh. my, my Tito, out of nowhere, he's like, in front of everyone, he's like, already fam? <laughs> and I'm like, yo, the burger was good. Oh, what do you want to tell me? And that's what I knew. I was like, yo, I'm, I, I dust meals. That's just going to be weird if like you're on a date and you eat that shit super fast. I, I've been told that I've ate fast on a date. Really? Yeah. Because one of the most embarrassing <laughs> Nah, you gotta match the speed, yeah, fast. bro. You nah, gotta match nah. the speed, bro. Bro, what? <laughs> this I guy eating super fast, and she's like, "Yo, no, no, I, fam, no, not gonna lie." I was on that date hungry as fuck, fam. So, <laughs> so I didn't care. I was eating. I was eating. And then when I, I looked up, yeah. she still had like half the food, and I was like ready to talk. <laughs> and she's she's still there, like, "Oh, you're done," and I'm like, "Fuck," you know. Uh, and I just gotta just sit there like this. Okay, shorties, leave down in the comments. Do you like a fast eater or a slow eater? Cause yeah, I what if like- there's a subconscious with that? Oh, he eats fast. He eat it fast. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? What if? What if? I don't that's know. I don't know. That's fire. <laughs> no, I feel like bro. I wouldn't want a slow eater as a girlfriend, fam. Like, why are you taking so long to eat, dog? Okay, yeah, because that shit gets cold. I would rather I would rather have a fast eater than a slow eater. <laughs> fast eater. Than, I don't think it matters. Dude. It doesn't really matter. But it does. Not really. It's it's not that serious. But okay, it's not that serious. But like, I don't <laughs> a know. slow eater. Yeah. Okay, I think I think what's worse than a slow eater mm-hmm. is just someone that walks slow. I, I think that's my pet peeve. I think that's my pet peeve. Yeah. It's like when somebody's slow in movement. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? Yeah. <laughs> bro, I, whenever Maybe I'm, we're just fast and we're like too jittery, bro. Yeah, I think I, we are too energetic, bro. Yeah, because I like people have told me too that I walk too fast. You you do walk fast. Yeah. You do walk fast. And I think that's just from excitement and nervousness. Oh, just, just out just out in a public area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, um, I was reading in Reddit. I was <laughs> reading in Reddit, right? Okay. And they the perfect comparison to anxiety. Yeah. They're like anxiety is like being in a video game and the battle music goes on, but there's no action. Facts. Oh my God. <laughs> that's like the perfect example yeah. of anxiety. Yeah, you're like, where the fuck is it coming from? Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what it is. <laughs> like the battle music is on all the time, but like there's nothing going on. I know, that's perfect. And I always get that. I always get whenever- Really? Yeah, when I was on the, I told you the story before. Mm-hmm. After an exam, I was on the GO train and I think it's, it's iced coffee. Oh yeah. Yeah. Iced coffee triggers me. That's like my anxiety trigger. Mm-hmm. Anytime I drink that, it tastes yeah. like straight stress. Really? Stress, bro. Yeah. So I drank it. I was on the go train. And for whatever reason, mm-hmm. there was these kids like just walking in front of me taking too long. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm freaking out. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why. Just out of nowhere. Just out of nowhere. Out. Yeah. But I think that's what happens with anxiety. Like you can never like control mm-hmm. it. It's just yeah. out of nowhere. So what are your ways to... To combat it? Yeah, because I know one of my friends mm-hmm. who whenever he has an outburst, he, he takes um three seconds yeah. to just pause and breathe. And there was one, do you know Meta World Peace? Yeah, yeah. So remember the big fight outbreak mm. that they had at the palace? With the, with the elbow? No, no, no. So the fans, one of the fans in the pa- palace threw a, a bottle at him. Oh, shit. And he was dealing with really bad anxiety and like uh, whenever he got mad, he got mad really quick. Yeah, he had a, he had a big temper. Yeah, and so before he he got like he he wanted to fight anyone. Yeah, he lied down on the scoreboard area mm. and was just and just took five, and, oh. and that pissed off the fans even more, which caused the outbreak. Oh shit! Because because he had an interview where he explained it. He's like, "Fam, I just had to take five, mm-hmm. but people got pissed that because I was he wasn't, chilling. Yeah, because he yeah. wasn't doing his thing. Yeah." Mm, that's interesting because when somebody's known for like being a certain character they want to see more of it Mm -hmm. people are so attracted to like violence or like at least (laughs) problems bro why why are we so why are we so like because it's fun attracted to to problems because it's fun why do you want to see people in problems dog in problems i don't know that's what it is it's literally people in problems that's what's entertaining (laughs) low-key yeah i mean i feel like we just want drama in our life Mm. But it, it it's only until it's only until your life has drama, then you're like, fuck that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's those people that watch like the drama, um, like the shows. Yeah. And then they realize, okay, my life is kind of boring. Mm-hmm. That I have to watch other drama to be like it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong. I'm I'm gonna be real. Like it's yeah. entertaining. For sure. But it's only until you feel it yourself. I know. That shit isn't fun. That shit is not fun. And and more unex um, what do you call this? Expectations that 
are not to reality. Yeah. Like the reality shows. They're mm. not, they're scripted. Like half yeah, of them are scripted. Yeah, they're all scripted. They're all scripted. scripted. Mm-hmm. But the fact that we're here thinking that it's normal life, like some mm. people think it's a normal life. They're like, fuck, why isn't my life like that? Okay, going to, going to scripted reality shows. Okay. Do you think <clears throat> keeping up with the Kardashians, some of their relationships are set up so that they can have more content in the show? For sure. For sure. Probably, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Because if you think about it, at, at a certain time, at a certain time, I'm talking like, let's say, early 2000s, yeah. right? Their their whole income was based off the show. Yeah, yeah. Or at least their um their generational wealth, yeah. their, their success was based off the show. Mm-hmm. So everything went into the show. And if it's about their lives, yeah. investing into the show is investing into themselves. So putting them... Putting themselves in positions of like celebrity, yeah. in love interest and shit. Mm-hmm. What if it's all scripted? I know. And then they just pay that guy the bag. Yeah. He's like, yo, just pretend to be my boyfriend. I'll pay you the bag later. Yeah. Cause remember in Hunger Games? Hunger Games? Remember in Hunger Games when <laughs> with a uh, Katniss and then had to pretend she was in love with Peter? Oh. Right? Yeah. That's a real example. That's yeah. a real example. Is it? A- Wait, hold on. Cause remember in the all. Nah. Yeah. What do you mean? Cause in in most most movie scenes they don't they don't end up together at the end, right? Or is is that true? Is there a a, a movie like love couple that actually has a relationship in the movie that in real has, life has a real good relationship in real life? I think Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone were actually in love. Like they had Word. like relationships outside. Yeah, mm. there's this one video that's funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah. It was a uh, Emma Stone, Andrew Garfield, and and Jamie Foxx. Yeah. They were doing an interview mm. and they were just all high as shit. Really? They are high as fuck, bro. <laughs> Here, play clip real quick. Play okay, clip. okay. Watch this. Watch okay, this. Watch okay. this. This is so funny, bro. <laughs> all of them. Literally okay. all of them. Okay. Do you... Okay, he's like, you, he's red in the yeah. face. Uh, Look at her. What yes. is... <laughs> right. what? Okay, okay, okay. If, if you could have... If you could have everything that you ever wanted in the palm of your hand. <laughs> Yo, he's high as fuck, nah, look. Nah, she's high okay. For sure. Seriously. <laughs> if you took all right. She's high as fuck like people, in the class. There's, there's, there's like, people, there's right? like three characteristics pick, though. Like one by him, one. He he tries to you, hide it. No, yeah. Yeah. It's like if not one, at all. Okay. If you knew if you knew she's trying to have a conversation ever be found out, would you would you? Probably would. Would he would? <laughs> oh my god! Nah, these guys were bonkers. I remember the the craziest moment was because I was driving my friend home from a party, right? Yeah. This was the funniest shit ever, right? So he gets in my passenger seat. I can already tell he's like, on, I was like, "Yo, are you drunk?" He's like, "Nah, fam, I just smoked." Fam. Oh yeah, right? yeah. So so we're driving, and he's 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 in the uh, passenger seat like this. <laughs> no there music playing. No, there's no music <laughs> playing. There's no music. It's dead silent. He's going like this. And I'm like, I'm like, fam, I'm a fan. Are you okay? There's no music playing. <laughs> He's like, sorry, sorry. I'm just reimagining the party. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this? <laughs> Yo, sometimes, cause I have, I have like a, a baby cousin, yeah. like new to the family, newborn. Uh-huh. Sometimes when I watch her walking around, uh-huh. I just look at him like, Yo, babies are really just like small drunk people babies like toddlers when they're walking around they're really just like small drunk people bro yeah, the way they walk is so the funny. way they walk the way they interact with things they're like happy and shit yeah yeah, yeah. it's literally just like <laughs> a drunk person bro alive like i seen my titos act the same if, if they're drunk this episode is sponsored by manscape the best in below the waist men's grooming manscape offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels so manscape recently launched the ultimate men's hygiene bundle the performance package join over 4 million men who trust manscape with this exclusive offer you guys get 20 percent off and free worldwide shipping at manscape.com slash jumpers or use code jumpers j-u-m-p-e-r-s and if my math is correct that's eight million balls come on man hey yo <laughs> yeah before i switched to manscape i would always shave with one of those like regular regular razors mm-hmm. and i was always careful because i might cut myself but with manscape i don't have to worry because they have skin safe technology you kept me safe no nah, facts whenever i use manscape too i'm way more confident knowing that i'm just mad clean down there i'm telling 
telling you guys the performance package 4.0 is a game changer. You guys don't want to miss out. Facts. Inside this package, you guys get the lawnmower 4.0, weed whacker, ear and nose trimmer, crop preserver, ball deodorant, and the crop reviver, the ball toner. You guys also get performance boxer briefs and a travel bag to hold all of your goodies. Yes, sir. I got my undies on right now. Keep in mind the fourth generation lawnmower 4.0 has ceramic skin safe technology. Also, it includes a 400K LED lights to get a nice precise shave even when it's dark. Jeez, they put a beam on the razor. So get 20% off with code jumpers at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping using the code jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. Unlock your confidence today and always use the right tools with Manscaped. The link will be downloaded in the description. Make sure to click it. Speaking of Tito's being drunk. Yeah, oh my God. I <laughs> so, have so many stories. So, so during, uh, I think it was New Year's. I believe it was it's New always, Year's. Yo, it's always... <laughs> Christmas or New Year's, Tito's and Dad start wild. They get lit. They get lit. Wild enough. <laughs> so, so he was telling me. First off, you saying, "Yo, you know, you learn a lot of stuff when when uh, <laughs> when you start drinking with everybody, right?" <laughs> That's his first statement. He's yeah, like, yeah. "Yo, if you if you drink if you drink in the Philippines back home, oh, we we learn so much stuff. We yeah, learn so yeah, much stuff." <laughs> and he was telling me. So there's this thing I heard. You should talk mm-hmm. about this on the podcast. I'm like, okay, tell me. Okay, okay. So there's a theory. Yeah. There's a theory that Marvel. Yeah. Marvel Comics, Marvel Studios mm-hmm. wasn't actually founded by who we think. Uh-huh. It was actually founded by this Filipino guy that nobody knows about. What? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? So who? take this in, take this okay, in. Yeah, let- so as we know, Marvel was actually founded by Martin Goodman, right? Okay, yeah. So it was originally called Timely Comics in 1939. Okay. And then only in, the, in 1961, I believe, they changed it to Marvel Comics, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, there's this... There's this illustrator mm-hmm. and author, I guess. Yeah, author? Yeah, author. You can say author. And author mm-hmm. that created comics in the Philippines. His name was Mars yeah. Ravelos. Marvel. No. <laughs> no. Oh, what the fuck? So wait, look. If, if, you, if you write it out. Yeah. What the fuck? If you write it out, bro. <laughs> Mars, right? Uh-huh. Ravel. Uh-huh. Los, Mars Ravelos, right? Uh-huh. Mar Marvel, Vel. Cross out the two S's. Marvel. Oh. So take this in. So he he was he was really popular in the Philippines. For yeah. he made one of the first superheroes in the Philippines. I think. Mm. I think the first one ever. Yeah. And I believe in 1948. That's when he had his own. He had his own like publishing of comics. Yeah, yeah. And. The theory goes that he actually sold his intellectual property mm-hmm. to Marvel just so that he can build up his comic studio bigger. Really? So he sold all of his IP, Marvel Studios, wow. gave it to Martin Goodman, yeah. and then they, they, they took Marvel Comics and made it something else. Wow. Yeah. But he was the start of it. He might have been. That's, that's like the whole theory. But you have to keep in mind, bro, uh-huh. this shit was all told to by me a, a drunk by, a, un- <laughs> by a drunk Tito. <laughs> <laughs> did he make that or did he actually, actually no no like he, he, he said he said he got it from his friends in the philippines uh-huh. during drinking yeah so who knows if this is real a lie. i i looked into it a bit i looked at he, mars ravelos is a real person mm-hmm. he did make comics yeah. around that time like that's real okay so there is a possibility there yeah. is a possibility that marvel comics was actually made by filipino, by filipino. Guy. damn big ups bro <laughs> no real shit right real shit fam no i was gonna say just like there's definitely um, other artists that have been copied before. Oh yeah, for sure, like a hundred. And now, now all you see, um, you can put that in uh right now in clothing brands. Mm. Fam, look, in every clothing brand, there's a a crosshair. <laughs> oh, is there's, there? There's like a cross every starting up brand. There's a random crosshair anywhere. Is there like, actually? Yeah, like you look at all the newcomers, and they're like, that's all they know how to do. Like they put a pretty girl on the side of the shirt yeah. and put like a crosshair fam. Interesting. Why? Why? Why is know. that? Or like the the Arabic theme? Yeah. They'll put like an Arabic like something sky and put it in an Arabic font. I think it's because Supreme. Yeah, I, I think know. Supreme did everything first. Supreme did everything first. Oh, low key. Hold on. Hold on. If we're talking streetwear, Supreme did everything first. Mm, I was hands saying- down, hands down. If you really, if you really take it in, like if it goes to holographic, if it goes to all materials, yeah. 3M, everything, mm-hmm. Supreme did it long time ago. But nineties to two thousands, yeah, everything's been done. Anime, uh, they did everything. Nah, to me, Nigo did everything first. No, Nigo, nah, did, did um the big uh the grills. 
the no the but that was, that was that was done by like people in the 90s before though like even even in the 80s they had girls and shit yeah like run they, dmc yeah that's true maybe he just popularized it he didn't i don't think he popularized it it was just a thing it was just really? a thing but if we're talking like streetwear fashion yeah nigo nigo definitely did like pastel colors that's all him yeah for sure nigo did pastel colors you never seen that shit before yeah right and then that's why kanye loved um what's it called ice cream yeah and no he had pastel pastel word right kanye's brand mm -hmm. and then he he uh with pharrell yeah. bbc all that shit but i think supreme started the wave of every single like if you think about it all of these streetwear brands mm -hmm. they're trying to mimic supreme in a way yeah. As as cringe as that sound, because Supreme isn't what it what it is anymore. Mm -hmm. If you really look at the designs, they're all done. Yeah, just flipped. It just flips somehow. Yeah, but yeah, but that's how it always goes. That's how it always goes. But if you think about it, mm -hmm. no matter what in history, you're gonna see somebody take credit for something else that yeah. they didn't make, or at least try to take that IP and then build it bigger. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yeah, like look at fucking uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Right? Yeah. Or look at fucking um what's the other guy? Who? Uh, fuck, I forgot I'm his not, name. I'm not good at reading minds. <laughs> this guy gave me no context clues. He's like, <laughs> you're like who's that guy? <laughs> okay, I forgot, I forgot. Yeah, but yeah. anyways. But no, nah, no, nah, it's at the end of the day, you can't get mad at it. It's whoever did it better, not who did it mm. first. I, I I believe. You think so? Yeah. Cause cause I low key, cause there was a guy who did like the pretty girl like the pretty kisses design yeah and i was mad at first because he yeah. stole he kind of like stole my shit mm -hmm. but at the same time i could give props to him because I, I was like yo can i buy that off you mm. that's how you know you got me fam I okay like, okay i would actually buy that shit off you. yeah 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 okay do you think there's a point to where it's <clears throat> too much i think personally if, if somebody copied someone mm -hmm. then it just it just looks like it's gonna bite themselves in the ass someday <laughs> maybe, you get me do you get me maybe like how, how would that bite a how would that bite back? Okay, look, listen, if, if listen. Someone, if someone just... Okay, this might not be true. This might not be true. Mm -hmm. But I think every one piece of art yeah. always has to grow with the same artist or else it's not going to see its true fruition. So oh, let's say yeah. let's say an artist starts with a, um, like a simple smile, smiley that. face, right? Yep. And it evolves into happiness, whatever. Mm -hmm. the, art, the art evolution has to take like a certain mindset or a certain way of life that that designer had to go through mm, yeah. so that it can evolve into what it's supposed to be yeah i was gonna say like um david cho yeah if if someone paints the same thing as david cho mm -hmm. i feel like it wouldn't be the same because david cho paints with emotions exactly like, like that's what all, i'm trying to say all his work is like like he could be going through experiences and traumas while he's going through yeah it, yeah right? yeah but this other person just copying no no emotion like it's just bland mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. un unseasoned chicken like would you would you want to hear somebody else rap kanye's bar no exactly yeah, you wouldn't because it's not the same yeah, it's not the true. same that's true that's exactly that, my that, point that, that's a good that's a good thing right i think emson told me that one emson, right? shout out emson one I time <laughs> i have going back to the the drug titos yeah because one of, one of my titos told me that um in a social setting it's so mm -hmm. funny this this saying is that alcohol is the social lubricant no that's true yeah, that's true. true yeah that's facts. It's true because like whenever i feel like whenever you're talking with a group of friends mm -hmm. it's way more lit when you guys are just drunk having a great <laughs> time right and i feel like you can get like open up easy mm. like i think for the people that are closed off mm -hmm. or at least like introverted they need that okay true right okay but do you, is this true to you then when a person says something to you when they're drunk, it's their sober thoughts. Because, mm. like, what if a girl tells you you're drunk, uh, I love you while they're drunk? Would you take that as, oh, no. she doesn't mean that? No, I don't, I don't think it's true. Mm -hmm. I think, I think when, when somebody is intoxicated, at least, yep. they're not thinking straight. They're thinking out of, um, what's, that, what's that word where you just jump in? Uh, uh, impulsive. Oh, impulsive? Imp they're, they're impulsive with it. Yeah. Right? And they're very emotional. Because I don't want to, I don't want to, generalize yeah but a lot of people okay at least a lot of girls mm -hmm. they tend to be very emotional with their with their thoughts yeah and then guys they seem to be more like physical yeah. i guess uh, does that make sense because because you the the guys they'll they'll be rowdy and shit but the girls will be like crying or be <laughs> yeah, like super yeah. happy like yelling yeah, yeah right yeah that's true that's true right i don't want to generalize it though but yeah, i'm just saying like obviously yeah yeah but that's what you see that's what you see mm -hmm. but you ever see um there's this guy, right? There's uh -huh. this guy. His name is 
John, I think John Michael or yeah. some shit. Okay. He's he's an MMA fighter. Uh-huh. Actually, a Muay Thai fighter. GSP brought him on to Ultimate Fighter. Okay. And he was sparring with all of these uh, fighters in training. Mm-hmm. And GSP's like, this guy, he's a character. Mm-hmm. He drinks all day. He gets four hours of rest. Yeah. And he brought them into spar, but don't fuck with him. Why? He beat every single one of them up while he was drunk oh with four God. hours of rest and yeah. just fucking around. There's a stereotype in basketball. Yeah. So whenever you see a guy who's eating chips before the game mm. or he's drinking soda before the game, he always is mad athletic. Mm. Like, like I always see that too. Like whenever I see someone um, in the layup lines yeah. and he's like being mad lazy during the game, He's the fucking superstar. Really? And he's like taking it like, oh, he already has like- I don't know if that's true for everybody though. Up. That's yeah, definitely not true I, for I everybody. I feel like you have to be gifted. Yeah, you gotta be gifted just in the Straight way. gifted. I, okay, do, do you think there's certain things that, that that's like a secret weapon to only one person? Like, let's say let's say uh you have a, a tradition of eating gum before your game or or you have to have like a certain drink before your game. Yeah. But it's only for that person, right? Yeah, Marshawn Lynch with the Skittles. Yeah, Marshawn oh Lynch. That's a good point. That's a good I, point. I tried it out. And I couldn't do it because I would have a sugar crash. Mm. So I would be, after I eat the Skittles, 25 minutes in, I would be, yes, let's go. Yeah, but but yeah, then yeah. right after, I'd be like, yes, the third round, I'm fucking panting, bro. I'm like, yeah. fuck. Okay, what's what's your what's your go-to like snack for um if, if you're preparing for something really big? Which is, this is weird to me. I couldn't do candy, mm. but I can do chocolate. Chocolate? Really? Yeah, I do a Kit Kat, a full Kit Kat bar before I go in. I'm the opposite. Really? What I'm do you do? I'm the opposite. I couldn't, I couldn't do chocolate just because I'm fucking lactose. Really? <laughs> yeah, and my stomach will growl. Yeah. And then like, that's not it for me. Oh my gosh. But what I do, I just try to like drink something sweet. I actually take um vitamins. Really? Like, you know the gummy vitamins? Oh, um, like melatonins? No, 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 no. Yeah. Like just even vitamin C. Mm-hmm. Just some sort of like fruit. Oh, it has to be like a fruit flavor, and then I just get energized like crazy. Word. Before I went to uh, the Killy concert, yeah, I was feeling a little bit tired. Mm-hmm. So you know the Metamucil. It's not Metamucil. It's um, emergency. Oh, emergency. <laughs> the, the emergency drink. I put that shit in the water. I drank it. I felt nice. Bro. Fam, emergency should be a regular drink because that shit tastes so good. The orange it one. It tastes good. It tastes oh good. Oh my god! But there's there's another thing that um that is something weird that Kobe does. What you know before every like before like really important games mm-hmm. i think he puts on his headphones and he listens to um that theme music of freddy uh, oh no of, oh. J- of jason yeah for um no for, no is it the halloween song oh no it, it is the halloween song it's the halloween song yeah, it's, right it's the theme of like the halloween yeah and i'm like what the fuck and, <laughs> and i guess it triggers his uh like inner killer mm. and i'm like what the fuck no kobe's on the next level that's how he does it bro, <laughs> bro there was a, the most fucked thing I, I saw yeah or or read was um kobe you know how uh, kobe takes everything seriously mm-hmm. right so there were at a game a photographer took a flash picture of kobe yeah and he missed the layup <laughs> oh so, so what shit. kobe did was he stared at the sunlight <laughs> <laughs> and practiced so that would never happen yeah again. i heard about that <laughs> He stared at the sun. <laughs> no, nah, he's a different. He's a nah. different guy. R.I.P. Kobe. He's R.I.P. So Kobe. Bro. He's so but different. that's what it takes to be the goat, though. Yeah. I think those crazy, <laughs> those crazy things that you have to do in life is what makes you different from the rest, and that's what makes you like legendary. Yeah, real shit. You get me? Yeah. Like nobody else is willing to fucking do that shit. I know. And before, I remember um, uh, being judged on my because I I was really tubby when I, I was a kid. Yeah. So that's why I worked out every single day, and I just mm-hmm. kept kept working out, kept working out. Really? I, yeah. Y- you know, you look like you're uh, you know, you know, ectomorph I, though. What was the f- what was that mean? Ectomorph, like the uh, the skinnier version. Like you know how there's there's ecto, meso, and then um, the big one. Really? I'm yeah. Ecto. There's ecto, mesomorph, and the endomorph. Word. Not because I was a really fat baby. Oh, and I, and okay. I, have this, I have this theory. Yeah. Like, it's, just, it's a stupid little theory where if you're fat when mm-hmm. you're really fat when you're a kid, you're going to be super skinny, model type body when you're grown up. And if mm. you're an ugly baby, you're going to glow up to this amazing model person when, when you grow up. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's looking at that's looking at three ugly people just made up. <laughs> I'm just trying to gas myself. Like, was, hopefully it's true hopefully yeah, it's true yeah. no but i was like always like in a fucking the glow yeah yeah, yeah. In, from 
the people I see in high school, I'm like, damn, you really glowed up, bro. I think I think the people that that peak in high school have the disadvantage. Worst. And if you peak in elementary school, you're fucked for life because that's your peak at all. That sucks. I don't. <laughs> is that possible to peak in it elementary is, school? I know. I know. I know a lot of people that peak. Oh, that's this one specific guy. I don't want to say his name. Obviously. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah, he peaked, fam. Word. That man. That man. I don't know what the fuck he's doing now. But I think, <clears throat> yeah, you know what? It's it's because it's because you get too comfortable in a yeah. situation and you think like you own everything, mm-hmm. and then you get that that mentality like I don't have to try. Yeah. But when you stop trying, mm-hmm. that's when you lose fucking work ethic. Yeah. You know I mean, I think it was Gary V. Gary V. said it the best. Mm-hmm. He said he never listens to. The positive comments or the negative comments. He just listens to nothing. 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 Because he never lets it get to he never lets it get to him. Yeah. Cause if it does, then he's just gonna work he it's gonna affect his work. Oh, okay, yeah. So let's say you're you're at a hustle mentality like this, yeah. right? People are saying, Oh, you're so you're so great, you're so great. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's gonna hustle a little bit less. Yeah. Right? Because he thinks he's already great. Yeah. But imagine the person that's hungry for everything in the world. They're gonna work way harder if they don't think they have anything. I know. Right? Yeah. Because your, your influences could be swayed like that. Mm-hmm. Like if someone gives you a weird look about a clothing brand that you design, yeah. or you're going to be like, oh, fuck. But in your head before, you're like, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? that's so true. Yeah. Okay, going back to food, going back to food, okay. I had this conversation with my, my mom and dad. Okay, bless. What would your last meal be if you were on like death row? Oh, this is, I don't know, man. What would yours be? Because I, I know some weird ones. Yeah. Did, you, did you see the guy who only wanted an olive? Yeah, that was weird. As no, fuck. no. Do you know why he wanted it? Though? Why? Why? I think it, there was like this acid that could stop the injection from actually killing him. Oh, in an olive. Shit. So I think he wanted to order more, but they only gave him one. Oh, yeah. damn. I know. Like olive, just drink that olive juice. Yeah, just drink it and like you pretend you're dead. Type. No, shit. but they're just gonna kill you again. Yeah. <laughs> but but at least it was a good try. You yeah, know? yeah, good yeah. try. Dad fighting. I know. <laughs> what would you do though? So mine, right? Yeah. Cause my dad, my dad said, "Oh, he would have like a like a whole buffet steak yeah. dinner, blah, blah blah." And I was thinking to myself, I wouldn't even want something too special. Mm-hmm. I think my last meal would be literally spam, yeah. eggs, and rice. Or, Why? Yeah. Because every single time I had that meal, yeah, is connected to a memory with people I loved. Really? I never shared that meal with somebody I didn't care about. No. If you think about it, because when you're having spam eggs and rice, that's that's like the traditional Filipino breakfast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're literally with family, your Lola, Lola whoever, Tito. Yeah, out, I saw out at lunch, you always had the thermos of spam egg and rice. No, 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 no. Or well, was that only spam egg? That was only egg. Oh, okay. That so was only I, egg. That was only <laughs> egg. So we're not special to Carlos. <laughs> my, my fault, my fault, yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, but could be too, could be too, though. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, you know. That's true. But, but just that, just the, like, the fried egg in the morning, too, mm-hmm. is just so, like, it's nostalgic to me and yeah. it, it it feels very calming yeah because you feel at home there's no way i can eat that and not feel comfortable mm-hmm. so that's why i think is going to be my last meal if i ever like on death row like not gonna well, i'm not yeah. gonna be on death row but like you know what i mean <laughs> yeah you know what what i thought when you first asked that question yeah i feel like i wouldn't want a good meal to go out because you're enjoying your life and then right after it's getting taken so mm. so you wouldn't want to go out on a good meal so in my mind i'm thinking the new guan I would want to go out eating Dunu on because I, I hate you that hate shit. It? So might as well take me too. You feel me? Nah, you don't want to go out to something bad. Nah, but you wouldn't want to go out to something good. I would want to go out to something good. No, because fam, you want to live more after you eat that shit. You're like, fuck, I don't want to die now. No, but it's 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 like an acceptance thing. No, mm. I think that's the purpose of your last meal is the acceptance theory right now i think the the purpose of giving them a last meal yeah. is so they can accept their fate and be like okay one last thing it's one last go just like you know in fast and furious like all right one last ride <laughs> yeah one last ride. <laughs> okay. yo there's a theory yeah there's a theory that dom from fast and furious is actually part of the family in encanto <laughs> no that's tough <laughs> How, how, how? Uh, this is like a stupid theory, but I'm going to okay. just say it anyway. Okay. So I found this shit on Reddit, bro. Okay. So in Encanto, mm-hmm. they're a family that all have superpowers. They're like they have a power, yeah. right? Whether it be protection, whether it be like talking to animals, whether it be like being able to do things nobody else can, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, there's a theory that Dominic Toretto okay. is actually related to the family in Encanto because if yeah. you think about it, every single Fast and Furious movie, bro... <laughs> This guy never gets hurt. <laughs> oh, f- 
Oh, facts. This guy never gets hurt. This guy never get. He does feats that are impossible. This guy's like hanging off cars and yeah. shit, hanging off uh, uh, airplanes. You no, get me? No hospital bills. You feel me? Nothing like this that. guy. This guy has powers, bro. Nah. This guy's. This guy has powers. <laughs> that was such a random <laughs> one. Is this stupid? I found out yeah, right yeah. there. <laughs> there was another. There was another theory. So back to food. Yeah. So the, this is probably the biggest scam in America. So mm. I don't know if this is in Canada too, but um. Retail stores yeah. would have mirrors that would make you look way skinnier than you actually are. Oh shit! Like yeah. a like a circus mirror. Yeah, like a circus mirror. So there's a there's a company called there's a company called Skinny Mirror, right? Yeah. And it, it promoted on Shark Tank, mm. right? And they promise that the Skinny Mirror will make you look five to ten pounds lighter. Oh, so most and there's uh, articles on like stores like Target, yeah. and hotels that say that they purchase Skinny Mirrors. Mm. And that's where they make all their money from. Oh, so like when they're trying on the clothes, they look good in it. Yeah, which boosts up the sales. Oh, fuck. That's crazy. Yeah, because fam, have you ever like bought something in the store and got home and it doesn't fit the same way? Yeah, it doesn't look good. It exactly. doesn't look good. I've had so much like uh, like experience of that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like low-key, man, it, I might have. I think that's true then. Yeah. I think that's true. Even like H&M and shit. Because yeah. there's, there's a way you can really manipulate mm. the way you look with mirrors. Because yeah. you go to the circus, you see that shit. Like you look skinnier, fat or whatever yeah. even if it's slight if it's slight it still triggers your subconscious yeah i feel like that's like my favorite word <laughs> but Ar aritzia yeah i feel like aritzia has has like a skinny mirror really they have perfect lighting mm. they have the perfect mirror like they want to let girls know that and guys know that fuck this like you're amazing bro mm. you, you fucking look good at this shit to add on to that to add on to that okay. i have a theory myself okay i think every single gym yeah their lighting is specifically a down light yeah. to show off your muscles, bro. I swear, bro. Oh, God. There's no, there's no way I look that good in the gym. I go home to the mirror and then I don't look that sick, right? They purposely no. have the down light. It's like the down yeah. light that makes a shadow, mm -hmm. makes all the, the muscle pop out. For sure. No, I feel like that is too. And um, what do you call this? Men's, I've never been to a gym, like mm. a public gym, but I know all the guys, like they just stand there and do like the poses and shit. Yeah, you got to, you got to. I <laughs> Yeah. I think I think if you don't, then you're not doing your job at the gym. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. I feel like I feel like if you're not flexing in the mirror and shit, you're not doing your job at the gym. No, I would never want to. That's awkward to me. How's that awkward? I don't know. It's like mad people are just I'm being narciss narcissistic in a public area. Mm -hmm. That's not it. No, I, but I, I like to hide my narcissism. Okay, but but if, if you bag it, if you bag it, you're at the gym to what? To oh, look okay. good. Yeah. Right? If if you if you don't appreciate yourself looking good, then why are you even there? Yeah, that's true. I mean, you got to build up that confidence somehow. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not looking as big as the other person next to you. Yeah. Shit, just looking yourself in the mirror. Feel good about yourself because you get to see the improvement later. That's true. Right? You get to see like the progress and shit. Because mm -hmm. if you just look at yourself like, damn, I got to work. I got to work hard. Yeah. There's no morale, bro. That morale's in the garbage. I know. Oh my God. When I went through... um. When I go through any problems, mm. gym, gym workouts hit so different. Yeah. And yeah. you know those ones, you don't play basketball, but for all the hoopers that relate, when you guys when you go through any emotional thing, just hooping by yourself is like therapy. Mm. That, that's another way I cope with like problems. I just go and play basketball by mm. myself. Do, do you do that thing where uh, <laughs> you can never leave on a miss? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's one of the unwritten rules of basketball. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you can't you can't leave or else bad luck. Do you wear do you wear like certain sneakers that, that are like lucky? Because I remember when I when I used to play basketball in like elementary yeah, school, yeah. I would only wear my uh, cousin's sneakers because he played basketball. He's like like rep. Yeah. yeah. And I would always take his sneakers and then wear them if I ever played basketball. Really? Because I thought like I would play I would play nice. Just like like Mike. Word. Mm -hmm. No, I I I I, oh no, never mind. Just I had a shooting sleeve that I always wear. Yeah, but like I didn't really take it too seriously. You didn't have no superstition. Yeah, because I was just nice in general. Bro. So in in <laughs> when I used to do Muay Thai like competitively. Yeah. I actually I actually drew this symbol. Okay. Right. So my dad told me this story before. This mm -hmm. is in the this is in history actually. Yeah. I think his name was Constantine. Okay. Constantine. Constantine. Yeah. Yeah. He was the Roman emperor at the time, and he was Catholic, right? Yeah. So the story goes that. God gave Constantine. Constantine? Con oh, yeah, Constantine. Constantine. Yeah, Constantine. <laughs> God gave Constantine yeah. this symbol. And he said, put this symbol on all of your shields, on all of your armor, and you will never lose. Word. Yeah. So he did it. They put it on all this. This is in history. You can look at like the artifacts of their shields and shit. Mm -hmm. They had that symbol. It's called the Cairo yeah. or Chiro Cairo. Mm -hmm. And it's like a P 
with like the thing on the st- on the ends, right? Yeah, like yeah. the little lines on the end. Mm-hmm. So I I drew that on my headgear Word, that's when fire. I went to go spar. That's fine. And I felt like unbeatable. Really? Mm-hmm. No, that's super fire though. Yeah. I remember um there was this guy that I was fighting against mm-hmm. who had the sickest uniform I've ever seen. What is it? What is it? Because um in Taekwondo you wear you wear these robes over your t-shirt. Yeah. And you have a long part at the end uh below your belt, right? Mm-hmm. And you can put like Canada, um, uh like USA. Oh yeah. But yeah. what he had he had was like he had Z's on it. Oh, that's like, hard. Like that's straight, hard. Like sleeping. Like straight Z's. <laughs> and I went up to him. I'm like, I'm like, yo, master, what do you think that that means? He's like, bro, that's a knockout artist. Oh shit. And that's I was like, hard. I want to copy that. <laughs> that's tough. That's so tough. my next one, I'll just be like, night night or something like that. <laughs> yo, if I ever go out in like a boxing fight, I wanna yeah. I wanna wear the Kotsky robe, bro. That's oh. my dream. I have to I have to walk yeah. out because people walk in the robes, right? Yeah. Imagine walking out in the Kotsky robe, bro. <laughs> I, has anyone ever done that? I don't think anybody's nah. done that. Nah, I don't think so. Especially in the UFC, yo, is is he Israel Adesanya? Oh, wear that, man, for sure. This guy's got to wear that. That'd all, be so all tough. The, all the anime men's go crazy. That'd be so tough yeah. walking out in that. Oh my god! But bro. I feel like if I was the best fighter in the world, yeah, I would come out in the most wacky and and goofy suits just so <laughs> just so <laughs> you'll you 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 feel more bad about your loss. When it's oh. over. Like, oh, I got my ass kicked by that guy in a uh, girl's Hawaiian bra and, and thing. Okay, who okay. Out. I ha- Okay, my theory, though, is anytime somebody wears something too flashy, they always lose. I oh. feel like it's true. I feel like it's true. Yeah, but but when it does work, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> the, the odd times it does work. The, the odd, odd times, times it, it does work. work is that, that's why I said, if I was the best fighter fam, I'm putting on, like, the fucking dress. I'm putting on a dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what would be hard, too? Like, the Assassin's Creed, like, hood? Oh, that'd be tough. No, that, I don't. I'm surprised too. men's not, haven't done that yet. I think. I think. K um, size. K size kind of looked like that. The Assassin's Creed. Yeah, he had like he had like. Uh, a oh really, yeah, he did. He did. One. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. Yeah. That's tough. Man, looking back, I I, I still want to be an assassin, bro. <laughs> Like, nah, that would be fire. <laughs> like you know how you know how when you watch something mm-hmm. and then whether it be spider-man assassin's creed like all of these things we consume as a kid yeah you always want to aspire to be like them or at least like take on traits For of them sure, right yeah so there's this theory mm-hmm. that tiktok mm-hmm. is actually using media to manipulate how kids will grow up what how like more violent so take this in bro take this in okay so there's been there's been studies on this right yeah if you live in china and you open tiktok okay the things that show up on their fyp page yeah are experiments science experiments uh motivation Mm. um sports athletes overachievers right yeah now in america you're looking at your for you page jumpers jump (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, but like, but like, so the, the crazy, yeah, shit crazy shit, like conspiracies, yeah, conspiracies. like um, sometimes some dumb shit too, oh, right? Sometimes sure. some dumb drama, whatever yeah, it may yeah. be. So there's a theory that whoever's because apparently China owns TikTok, right? Yeah, yeah. And if you want to change the generation as they grow up, yeah, you can low key change the algorithm to push them in a direction mm-hmm. to yeah. the way you want. Yeah, that makes sense because media, that's that's all it is. Mm-hmm. That's why that's why um Chinese kids or like Asian Asian uh, countries. Yeah. I seen um kids that are so matured mm. that they'll be like 12 and they'll take the train by themselves. Yo. I, I wasn't I didn't know what the fuck the, a train was and how to take a train until I was actually put in that position in university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there's there's even uh there's a curfew too. I oh, believe a curfew? you can't you can't use the internet after 10 o'clock something like that word that's fam if i had that and i was on strict all my life yeah i'd be so smart right now mm. because I'm, I'm usually on my phone all the time i think that's smart because we never we don't have that yeah okay but there, there's that thing of freedom right yeah. there's that thing of freedom would you would you would you want your world to be like that or would do you like your freedoms now i like my freedom but i would rather have my freedoms oh no i would rather have a 10 p.m curfew for phone yeah then a, a curfew for like a fucking lockdown no that's you true know? that's different though that's different yeah, exactly i'm just saying internet internet in general oh internet no nah, i feel like i feel like we don't take it seriously though yeah internet should be free to be honest what do you mean free internet should be free because everyone needs internet because now i remember i was at the driving uh, my driver's test mm-hmm. and you know, you know how you have to scan the the code oh yeah and, and if you don't have data and if you don't have data how do you do that i don't know and fam in restaurants yeah they tell you to scan it now for the, I, I remember watching these two old people. I felt so bad because yeah. the waiter had to 
instruct them like step by step. They're like, how do you do this? Yeah, they don't how know. Do you, they don't know. It's not fair. It's not fair. Exactly. But that's the thing is, I think that's the problem, right? Everything becomes like a monopoly. Yeah. Everything becomes like, you got to have, this is the, the prerequisite for mm-hmm. you to do something. Yeah. And the more and more technology comes out, the more and more prerequisites it's show gonna, up. It's going to, yeah. Like you got to know how to do this to do this. Yeah. The next level is this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And who suffers are the people that can't assimilate or can't learn the new technology. That's why you're always going to be up on your game. Yeah, I know. Like computer uh, software engineers. Mm-hmm. Sucks, bro. You got to keep... Your job is never... Your studying is I never know. done. I know. But that's a good thing at the same time because you'll always have a job. Mm, right? Yeah. Because a lot of jobs now, you can get easily put, replaced by a, a, a robot. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Did you see, did you see the, the robot at CES? Yes. No, what's that? Was, she was like talking and shit. Word? Yeah, hold on. I think I have a video of it. Okay, okay. This guy has hella videos today. I see your rabbit. Look at the face. Yes, you I did do. see this. I said, I see your rabbit here. Hello there. Do you have a boyfriend? I do not have a boyfriend. Bro, that's so Are scary, you man. I'm asking for me. Ima- imagine things like that walking around now. Because from afar, you wouldn't be able to tell that's a robot. I know. Look at the face alone, right? Imagine they make the whole thing skin. Yeah, makeup artists could definitely just put something on that. Yo, so there's this crazy like um, thing you can do with your iPhone. Okay. If you ask Siri yeah. what her favorite movie is, you know what she says? What did she say? She says Blade Runner. And if you ask her, wait, why Blade Runner? <laughs> and she says, yeah, it's about it's about um, artificial intelligence trying to live past their expiry date no. and she and then she, you know what she says she says what? and i don't think that's too much to ask for oh my <laughs> is so weird. first series always listening now that's her favorite movie yeah something's up still it's crazy yeah. right it's only a matter of time we see robots like that in real life and then we can't even tell the difference like i yeah. could be a robot right now you don't know yeah there, there was <laughs> there's something really cool that um i saw on tiktok uh i think one i think it was Loblaws or Sobies, yeah. who's, who've already established uh, online shopping in real life. There's no more cashiers. Oh, it's uh, Amazon. It was, oh, Amazon. It was Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. So you put it in your thing and you cash it out and you just pay there mm. and you walk out with the thing. I think it's called. No, you don't even have to pay there. It's just you you take it and walk out. Oh, because it's like your um, credit card's already on there type shit. Yeah. They see you on your face. They see on your face exactly That's what you fucked. took. That's fucked. It's crazy. Imagine because... <clears throat> You walk in, imagine you try to like steal something. Yeah. They still know you took it. Yeah. That's so crazy. I know, that's fine. And going back to what John was saying before on the other episode, mm-hmm. they literally have surveillance everywhere. We just don't realize, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Like they can see every single corner, every single angle of your face, of your body, what you're doing. Yeah. We just don't take it in. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of scary if you, if, you, if you really like, yeah. if you think about trying to hide, where would you even hide? You can't because everyone, they're, they're looking at you right at, right now. Yeah. Because I, I remember, oh, what was that movie where um, the horror movie we both watched when there's there was always the killer looking at the people that he was about to kill? Oh, um, Sinister, is it? I think it was Sinister. Yeah. But that, I remember walking out mm-hmm. of um, the person's place we, we watched it at. Yeah, yeah. And I was mad, like traumatized. Like, yo, there might be someone looking <laughs> at you right now. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? You, I, I think I get that feeling all the time for no reason. Yeah. I just have a feeling like somebody's watching, whether it be good or bad though. Yeah. Do you have that? Mm. Not not as much? Yeah. Maybe it's just I, me being much. like, I don't know, in my head. Yeah. But I always have a feeling somebody is watching. Yeah. Whether it be a higher being, whether it be guardian angel, who knows, Who's right? like looking at you weird? Not looking at me weird, but just looking at me. Yeah, I guess. And yeah. maybe that goes to the... The evil eye stuff too, uh, maybe, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the, it goes to that. The, I remember um, there was uh, this person that I read about in the Philippines. Yeah. Who had this bus driver stare at her really weird, right? Mm. So this is what happened. She was she took a jeepney ride home, right? Yeah. And every five minutes, the the bus driver would look back in the mirror at her, mm-hmm. right? And and when uh, sh- uh the bus driver looked back, he told her, "Oh, you don't have a head." Oh, what the hell? And, and the girl's like, "What?" And in the Philippines. A person having no head is an omen signaling death. Oh shit! Right? So the person, the person was like, "What do you mean? I do have a head. I'm right here." It's mm. like, "Are you crazy?" Yeah. So she gets off the bus. Later that day, she reads on the news that that bus driver, or that jeepney driver, died. Oh, it was fuck. not her omen of death. It was his. Yeah. So it was fucked. Damn. Yeah. Do you do you think? 
do you think there's a real like final destination you know you know that movie final destination yeah, yeah. how if you cheat death it will always come and find you yeah i feel like that you think that's true because i believe in karma yeah. It's like if so, if some if you do something bad, then it'll find you eventually. Bro, I remember long time ago, mm -hmm. uh, in in Toronto, right? Yeah. There was a shooting at the Eden Center. Oh yeah. And this girl, she was involved in it. Mm -hmm. I don't think she got injured. She might have got injured or something, but she didn't die. Yeah. Two weeks later, mm -hmm. she's in Colorado for the the premiere of The Dark Knight, right? Okay. And do you remember that big shooting that happened at the Batman Dark Knight movie? Oh yeah. She was part of it, of it and too? she died. No. So she, her, she, she cheated death the first time, but, but she oh. died in the theater nah. by another shooting. That's so Two weeks fucked. later, two weeks later. That's so fucked. Oh my God, that's crazy. Right? Nah, that's crazy. Because maybe, I don't know, like knock on wood, but if it's somebody's time, maybe it's really somebody's time. Yeah. Do you think? Mm, yeah, I don't know. But I remember... um. What do you call this? My dad, yeah. he, he told me like a few days ago, he's like, I'm on my third life now. What does he like, mean by that? Because um, what do you call this? Uh, in the Philippines, yeah. he almost died from an earthquake from the ground separating. Oh, shit. Yeah. And now um, due to health issues, the second one time he, but he recovered from that. Mm. So he's like, yo, Gav, I'm on my third life, brother. Oh, damn. I'm like, Holy <laughs> shit, this guy's playing like he's a fucking cat. Like, no, you, like be careful with your nine life. Nine lives, man. nine yeah. lives. But it, was, it wasn't something that, that, um, he put on himself. It was just like the earth. Mm. And it like just it just happens that yeah. way. It just yeah. happens that way. Okay, but speaking of new movies that are coming out, yeah. this one is so crazy. What is it? What okay, is it? Cause, so there's this new Korean movie yeah. called All of Us Are Dead. Yeah. And guess what the movie is about? People dying? Of a virus. Oh, shit. This, this is the perfect time to drop a virus movie. Yeah. And, and they were all running around from zombies. Oh, it was it was in man. Korea where yeah, yeah, yeah. all the all the, the roads are empty. Mm -hmm. Zombies chasing this one person from a, a mouse bite. Oh shit! Like Train to Busan type shit. Yeah. World War Z. Damn. I feel like that's that's gonna the next movie that's gonna really blow up. You think so? Yeah, I'll predict it right now that that's gonna be the biggest movie. Damn. Because yeah. I think I think just right now we're look. I don't know. I feel like right now it's too uh it's too fresh in the mind, bro. <laughs> really? It's too fresh in the mind. Like, would you? Like, if you're going through a heartbreak, would you want to watch a movie about a heartbreak? <laughs> yeah. It depends. It depends on the type of person you are. Yeah, I feel like people do that. Maybe that's the reason you don't like Euphoria, though. Yeah. No, <laughs> but then, if if since I'm going through problems, like, I would watch that because it's relatable. Okay, okay. So, I, maybe Euphoria, Euphoria is just trash, bro. How is Euphoria? Nah, you can't say that, bro. Nah, you're like Euphoria? Gonna, you're gonna lie for that one. Nah, I don't care. Euphoria is fire. Bro, okay. Name another television show that took like high school to that level and made it like so artistic <laughs> like that, but still making it relevant and still making it easy to watch. There's no other movie. I mean, no other TV show. Yeah, maybe because my favorite high school, like, uh, I guess. Grownish? No, no. It's Grownish and um, what, what's the one? Never Have I Ever? Oh, I did <laughs> not like that. We have way different tastes, bro. Yeah, we have way different yeah, tastes. Yeah, exactly. So I like the soft, funny high school shit and you like the the oh. more deeper <laughs> meaning stuff yeah, yeah yeah no cause that's me right cause I if I watch something I wanna be able to like oh maybe they yeah. put that for that right rather yeah. than just like showing me everything yeah I feel like I feel like I just didn't like it cause obviously young kids are gonna watch this and I just didn't like the fact that they're gonna promote shit like that oh like drugs yeah. and sex cause, and cause all that cause I remember there was there was this fuck saying it was like um uh after watching Euphoria and then yeah. it's like mom is that a is that a Flintstone gummy? And then the girl's like, "No, it's the way out." <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? No, okay, yeah, I agree. I agree. It does. Yeah. It does. Like, um, it gives a wrong impression of of substance abuse, which yeah. is bad. Yeah, it's but at least there's a show that shows the real side of it. Like, yeah. it's not taboo. Mm -hmm. Yummy. You know I mean? And I think every like there has to be some sort of some sort of art everywhere that shows the realness in it somewhere yeah that's true does that make sense right. like at least show show realness of it in some sort of um whether it be a movie whether it be like a tv show like they got to show it somewhere yeah right and at least that's the one they can they can use and people will watch 
Yeah, I know. Maybe maybe I just, I don't like those ones because back then I would always watch like you know Sweet Life of, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody and shit yeah like yeah that. that wasn't really like real life mm. and Ant Farm that taught me nothing about high school. That's true, but it was about high school. Mm. You know. Okay. Do you think do you think kids are growing up too fast right now? Oh yeah, bro. Oh my god. Fam, yeah. Um, the number one thing is like uh, what do you call this? Uh, my sister's friends and mm. shit. They're only in like, uh, what do you call this? High school still. Yeah. And they're full, full makeup and shit like that. Eyelashes, all and that. They, yeah. And eyelashes. They look like they're twenty four. You can take mm. a sixteen year old and she can go to a twenty four year old with eyelashes and makeup on. Mm. Yeah, and then like heels, whatever they're yes, wearing. Bro. Yeah, bro. So I have a theory, right? Okay. So I think the reason we think kids are growing up so fast now what? is because they have no one else to look up to besides the older idols. Or older celebrities. So you're saying it's our fault? No, it's it's just it's just the people that are popular right now. Cause look, back let's say 2005. Okay. Who were kids looking up to? Uh, Lizzie McGuire, <laughs> shit, like whoever pop star, yeah, Disney yeah. star, whatever. But they still acted young. Mm. You get me? Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's the oddball JoJo Siwa, but yes. like you know. But <laughs> look, look, look at it right now. Who would you say is the icon for young young girls right now? Ariana Grande. Yeah. Right. And then she's obviously still talking about sex, all this stuff. Doja Cat. Come oh on. Looking God, at yeah. you, know, right? Mm-hmm. If 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 those are the the idols of now or those are the popular creators that they're looking up to, mm-hmm. dog, obviously everybody's gonna look like that. Yeah. I would say, um, what do you call this? Uh Bad Baby. Yeah. Uh, uh what do you call this? Any Instagram influencer. So yeah, like Chantel, or even TikTok. Yeah. yeah, like Chantel Jeffries, Addison Ray. Yeah, know? they all look old too. They yeah, all look because Looking back, we didn't have the. They don't have the Miley Cyruses, mm-hmm. at least old Miley Cyruses. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. they don't have that. But it's weird because um, if you there was a high school film in recorded in like uh eighteen hundreds, mm-hmm. and the the people looked really like old for their age, like perfect. Mm. But you see a grade nine now, and he's like hella like small. Like he doesn't look like he's a grade nine. Mm. So, but is that, I don't know. Is, I feel like it's certain people, not yeah. everybody. So, is that is that just saying like the younger generation wants to grow up faster, and to do that, it's like oh, makeup, all that shit. Grow up faster. Yeah, they want to match. Know. They want to match those. I think it's, I think it's just for the times. Mm. I think whoever sets the bar, just like I was saying, like let's say Ariana Grande sets the bar. Yeah. Then everybody else is gonna follow that, yeah. right? It's gonna be the same thing, bro. Because yeah. yo, I think the biggest the biggest reason this is yeah is because. Disney Channel made some shit shows now and nobody watches that oh. anymore. That's oh. that's actually the real reason. That's that is because nobody yeah. watches those shows anymore. Nobody watches like young young celebrities. Yeah. Everybody's looking at the older stuff because that's what's the good content now. I know. It's just the writers at Disney suck now. And it's shit, bro. Yeah. Oh my god. Like I feel like uh oh what do you call this? <laughs> I, I forgot the show I was about to talk about, but it was like a show about just kids on their phone the whole time and they're just communicating with each other. I don't, mm-hmm. I forgot the show, but it was so bad. I was literally watching it with my sister and we we're like, yo, what is it God? Like, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it is bad. It, it's getting scary. It's getting scary. But, but there's always like, I, I think right now, yeah. cause it's so hard to generalize everything. Cause there's so many different people. Mm-hmm. There's so many different, like, I can't just say one yeah. because there's so many things happening. Yeah, you get me? Sure. I think I think Disney and uh, Disney XD fell off. You remember randomness? Randomness? I don't even remember that. Really? No. Do you do you remember Living Maddie? Yeah, I remember Living Maddie. Think, I think it fell off as soon as that hit. I did not like that show. Yeah, I didn't like that show. I was ki- I kind of liked it, but I didn't like it at the same time. That's why it was like okay. It's I like, think the last one for me. This is stretching it. Good luck, Charlie. Huh? Lab rats. <laughs> lab rats. That's, I didn't like lab rats. Th- yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is stretching it. Yeah. Or kicking it and then lab rats. Kicking it was like the last good one. Yeah, the last good. The one. last good one for sure. But I didn't even finish that. You know how if you go back and try to watch Sweet Life on like uh, Disney Plus, yeah, yeah. I watch every single episode. It's like I'm trying to find one I didn't watch. I watch every single one. Yeah, yeah. and it's crazy because you remember the plots too. Yeah, when exactly. You're watching, which is fucked. I know, and you start to see they literally took the same concepts <laughs> from all of the the Disney Channel shows and just did it in a different yeah. show, like um, the classic. There's someone talking in the ear and they're on a date. Oh my god. <laughs> That they always, always do that. They always do that. I've always wanted to uh, put that on. Yo, you know that that Filipino channel. I don't know if you uh, grew up watching this. What? I like grass. 
Yeah, yeah, I watched oh, that. I watched like that. OG Filipinos will know this, but yeah. they they actually did one where the guy went on a date and then they had like an earphone. They did, and it went. I'm surprised I didn't go super viral. Cause I I think they were like the only ones that did it at the time. Yo, let's do it. Let's do it. We might have to. Should I go on one? <laughs> yeah, go on. Right, one. I bet that. Bet that. <laughs> but but it has to be funny. Like I'm gonna tell you some wild stuff. Okay, you have okay. to say it, but you have okay. to say it confident. Well, uh, Loki, yeah, I'll go on a dating app and get like a date, and then we'll actually do it. Just for fun. Just, yeah, just for, for fun. fun. Just for content. <laughs> I swear to God, this will be the funniest shit ever. No, that would, that would be good. That yeah, should be sick. Yeah, that would be sick. That's like Nelk. I think that's why Nelk is so popular because they keep it real. Where? Would you, or do they fake some of their stuff? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But at least from what I know, that it's mm-hmm. like real. That's why That's why the big YouTubers that don't fake and are so genuine, like Jideon. Mm. Jideon, Jideon, he, funniest guy right now. He runs YouTube right now. Yeah. Just because yeah. he's so genuine. And he took a guy who, who fakes his scripts. So Faze Rug, mm. he took him and he did he did like his usual video. Yeah. And Faze Rug couldn't go up to people and like do what he did. Like he couldn't do something funny out of the blue. Because mm. that's how that's how much like how tough it is to really do that shit. Mm. So he's like exposing? Huh? He's like exposing? No, no, they did it for fun. Like they're friends. Oh, okay. But, yeah. but it just proved that a lot of people can't do what Jideon does. And Faze Rug is like the master at like scripting his, his funny plots. Oh, no, but I think all YouTubers do that. I mean, yeah. I don't think anything's by accident. Oh, what was that guy? My favorite scripter, J Station. <laughs> oh, oh, is that the, the the guy that did the um, the rap? So all the twenty four hour challenges. Oh yeah, 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 that one. No, that's all fake. All that I, is fake. I hated that was fake because I used to think it was real. Yeah, but it was a good fake though. It was a good fake. I liked it. It was a good fake. Yeah. But I think now we just we can't trust anything, bro. We yeah. can't trust anything. I know. I f- no, but I, f- I don't like it now because YouTube's built that stigma. It's like everything's fake now. There's no genuine people on YouTube now. Mm, okay. I feel like we're Maybe. taking it too far. Maybe. Yeah. But but there there are some like vloggers that only do real shit. Who? Like, I don't know. Like they are they're low-key <laughs> vloggers that do yeah. real shit. I know. Emma Chamberlain, for example. Yeah. Like it's just day-to-day stuff. I know. It's day- but it's not interesting, man. It is interesting. Okay. It, it, no, Emma Chamberlain, she can make anything. She can talk about <laughs> sand. It will be interesting, bro. Yeah, that's true. Honestly. Never it's, mind. Never it's mind. just her personality. It, no, I, th- I feel like it's just her voice. And yeah, how yeah, she yeah. projects like her thing. Yeah, she can talk about anything. She can yeah. talk about like the, sp- the spec on my <laughs> iPhone is going to sound like a, a history book. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's true. But people thought that the, what do you call this? That the forest vlog mm-hmm. was, was scripted. That shit was <laughs> no, not scripted. <laughs> Allegedly, a lot of allegedly, was, allegedly, allegedly. Alleg- most of it was <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> but yeah, holy, we need we more vlogs coming soon though. Yeah, I still have to post out the other one. Yeah. Okay, we'll end it there though. Facts. Um, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Jumpers Jump. If you haven't already, follow the Discord or join the Discord. Follow us on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Click the links in our bio. All that good stuff. Go make sure to listen on Spotify and Apple. All that. All right, Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.